Ladies and gentlemen of the incredible class of 2020, a year that I know has thrown your world upside down, brought your celebrations and your lives to a standstill, and brought uncertainty to your futures. Despite this, never forget, wear sunscreen. If I could offer you only one tip for the future, sunscreen would be it. And the rest of the advice I'd like to offer is based on my own meandering experience. Be brave when you can, because those moments are when your life is shaped. The paths you take will lead you to exciting places. Don't be afraid to explore along the way. Have big dreams. Take a risk rather than doing nothing and then regretting it for the rest of your life. Don't underestimate the power of taking action on the small things. And don't hurry. You will get there someday, wherever there is. Enjoy the power and beauty of your youth. Despite the fear and the frustration of now, you will look back and recall in a way you just can't grasp right now the potential that still lay before you. Don't let this time pass wasted. I know it's hard, but these are your times in which you can flourish. You have talents and blessings that nobody can take away from you. Don't let what you can't do or the opportunities you don't have right now rob you of the power of what you can do. Your future is always in your hands. Don't compare your life to the life of others. You are blessed with so much that money can't buy and you will always have enough of what really matters. Keep your old love letters. One day you'll be surprised at how much you wished you had. Don't be reckless with other people's hearts and don't put up with anyone who is reckless with yours. But don't be afraid to fall in love. Be passionate. Celebrate the uncertainty of not knowing the future. Make up your mind not to care quite so much about the destination, but to simply enjoy the journey. Maybe you'll be famous, maybe you won't. Maybe you'll own a big house, or maybe you won't. Maybe you see the world, maybe you don't. Settle, or don't settle. Whatever you do, enjoy the contentment that comes with making your own choice. And however you choose, don't congratulate yourself too much or berate yourself either. Always be kind to yourself. Dance. Whether or not you can, it really doesn't matter. Pose stupidly for photos like you always used to and reconnect with all the fun and carefree things that make you, you. Nurture good relationships. The best in life are when your family understand you like a friend and your friends support you as your family. Find your tribe. Get together with your family whenever you can. Be there for your siblings because they're the best link to your past and the most likely to be there with you during the good times and the bad. Even if you know exactly what you want to do with your life, when you reach your 50s, your horizons look completely different and there's a whole lot more ahead of you that you'll want to do. Live in London once, but leave before it makes you hard. And live in the Mediterranean once, but leave before it makes you soft. Always take care of your body though, because that is the most precious place you have to live. Vote. Speak up for the truth where it matters. Care enough to leave your mark on the world around you and remember, you have unlimited potential to do things differently. Add more to the world than you take and if you lead by example, it doesn't matter if others follow or not. But don't be afraid to be a leader. Trust in yourself. You know more than you think you do. Know that you will make mistakes, but don't worry about them. Learn from each one. Talk to those of us who have endured and thrived on our own journeys. Our lives have been full of twists and turns too. Don't be too afraid or too proud to ask for help. However bad things can feel, know that they will get better. Keep a journal. I've learnt two very important lessons in life. I can't remember the first one, but the second 
is that I need to start writing things down. But trust me, on the sunscreen, 